kenyataan-kenyataan dari bekas pegawai kerajaan yang menuduh Jabatan Pendaftaran Negara JPN dan SPR bersubahat memberikan status warga negara dan dokumen kerakyatan uh, kepada beribu-ribu warga asing tanpa proses yang sah. Warga asing ini menjadi warga baru untuk diletakkan di kawasan-kawasan seluruh Sabah dengan tujuan untuk menambahkan lagi jumlah pengundi Muslim. Kami sedar SRD Sabah masih berjalan. Walau bagaimanapun, bersih dua meniru SPR untuk menjawab tuduhan-tuduhan ini dengan segera. Keputusan pilihan raya ini amat-amat disangsikan. Dalam masa yang sama, Bersih Dua telah menerima banyak laporan dari orang ramai tentang perkara yang sama berlaku di seluruh negara. Kajian dari Merap menunjukkan perkara yang sama juga sedang berlaku di Selangor. Kami menyeru SPR dan kerajaan untuk melancar siasatan sama ada ops durian runtuh atau buruk telah juga diguna pakai di Sarawak dan di Semenanjung. Bersih dua menekankan di sini tentang masa yang amat singkat untuk membuat siasatan kerana pilihan raya umum akan sampai. Kami sekali lagi menyatakan kesediaan kumpulan masyarakat medani untuk membantu membersihkan senarai. Pengumum. Given the fact that elections are round the corner, their response should be immediate. Because if it is a denial, it's easy to do, isn't it? If it didn't happen or they didn't have anything to do with it, That's easy to do, but they owe the public an immediate. We believe response. that the same things that happened in Sabah so long ago continues to happen, but also in West Malaysia. That's the evidence that we have been Now, using. Address in Wangsa Maju, Wangsa Maju, Kuala Lumpur, 12 Jalan 44, Strip 27A. As you can see, there is about a number of voters here. And the names is a bit odd because it doesn't sound uh, very much like Malaysian, like Bin Akbadin, all right? And those that is in colored red, these are code Negara 71, date of birth unknown, all right? Now, they have been moving into this uh, location in 2011, and it's registered either by JASA, Kemas or Kerajaan, or by political party. Now, what is amazing about this, all in the same place, all, most of them, Negara unknown. So I pay a visit to 12 Jalan 47A, Wangsa uh, Maju, and I realized that, now this is the SPR screen screen, it's actually a Roti Chanai shop. <laughs> When I took the name and I talked to the head waiter there, I said, I know only one name. And the rest he doesn't know. Between now and the time they need to have the elections, which is in June, that's the latest date, can they clean up the electoral roll? Well, they can certainly make progress. And I think if they, if they said that they are uh, postponing it to June for the purposes of cleaning up the electoral roll, and they got civil society on board as well as all representatives of all parties, I think the Malaysian public will be prepared to wait till June. That's all still within the, the, the scope of, uh, of the uh, Constitution, actually. What the RCI shows, really, at the end of the day, we, is we were right. Bursi was right. There is a problem with the electoral roll. Do you remember the EC chairman in April last year saying we had the cleanest electoral roll in the world? Well, what has he got to say now?